Today, the AAA Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders took on the Durham Bulls in a winner take all game five of their International League Governor's Cup final. Durham served as the home team, although the entire series was played in Scranton due to the presence of Hurricane Florence in the Carolinas. And prior to action, one of our Yes Network colleagues had a very nice moment. It's our take into the bank moment, brought to you by People's United Bank, and it's our homegrown producer, Blake Shear, getting the first pitch on us, JC. Yeah, keeping it low in the zone. She's a southpaw. <laughs> she knows it. how to pitch inside. Keep it down. I think she put a little action on the ball, too. Anyway, Scranton and Durham tied it to series tied at two. Bottom of the first, Joe McCarthy off to Mingo Herman out to right. It's one nothing, and the McCarthy going to work again in the fourth. Yeah, base is loaded, and he takes this 3-2 pitch down the right field line for a double. That is going to clear the bases, and that gives the Bulls a 6 to nothing lead. And they've got to find a way to lock it down. Top of the ninth in a 6-2 game. Austin Pruitt gets Wilkin Castillo for the final out, and Durham wins the Governor's Cup. Three games to two. They win the final over Scranton Wilkesbury, six to two. Domingo Armand taking the loss. By the way, that video, especially of Blake from our buddy Connor Foley, who covers the Rail Riders, he also announced on Twitter after the game, Jack, that the Yankees were calling Domingo Herman and Justice Sheffield. And of course, that name will ring very loudly for Yankees fans who've been clamoring for him for a long time. All right, he's a starter who will come up to the major leagues and work out of the bullpen. That was something that Brian Cashman the general manager talked about a couple of weeks ago and I think Yankee fans should be both excited and curious to see what Sheffield can bring you look at his numbers this year at Scranton they're terrific but especially his numbers against left-handed batters so I think that could be the way you see Boone employing him if the Yankees do use him in a game but he's a reliever for now in the future the near future he's a starter and he should be somebody who vies for a rotation spot for the Yankees next season